Good morning, whoever decided to click on this video. Well, it's morning for me. It might not be morning for you, but it's morning for me. Today I'm going to be making a leather cowboy hat because I've been playing way too much Red Dead Redemption. Not the second one with all its fancy graphics and crazy story. The first one. This is the hat that I'll be making today. The shape is quite inspired by John Marston's hat, but uh, the color and, and the design is all based on uh, what I want and what I would kind of wear if I was back in the old western times. Let's get into it. I started off this build by making a template using this old hat that I had. This one doesn't really fit me anymore, but it's close enough to, to get the shape. I could have gotten a template off the internet and it would have been way easier, but I decided if I did it myself, it would be the exact shape that I wanted and it would fit me perfectly. Once the template was done and I was happy with it, I moved on to cutting out the leather. Now this is three ounce leather. Uh, anything thinner and it probably wouldn't hold its shape as well as this, so this is probably the thinnest that I would go. Um, and I would prefer to be maybe a four ounce leather, maybe somewhere around there, three and a half ounce, uh, just to get a little bit more structure. But I was very happy with this.
Once I finished punching holes in the leather, I sewed it together. I started by sewing the top onto the band without sewing the band together in the back. The reason I did this is because I didn't know exactly where the edges would line up to the pieces that I made. The template that I made just had excess on the band so that uh, I knew it would make it. And as I sewed the top together, I cut the top and then I sewed it onto the bottom and then once those came together, I cut it and then sewed the middle up so that I knew it would fit and it would be perfect. This was probably my favorite part of the build, shaping the hat. First, I got the hat wet, and then over a period of an hour, I put it on my head, I shaped it. As it got drier and drier, I got closer and closer to the final shape. I didn't do this on camera, because again, it took an hour. Once I was done with this, I got really happy with it. I was psyched with how it turned out. Then I put the leather dye on. 
And I put the leather down while it was still a little bit damp. It wasn't 100% dry, because that's how you're supposed to do it, but it must have been a little too damp. The fact that the leather dye is a liquid made it become soft and supple again, and I had to do the forming all over again. This is, I guess, something to keep in mind for next time, but it was really a bummer, and I don't feel like I got the shape just as good after the dye. I think it stretched a little bit in some places, so I think it'd be better if I got it nailed it the first time, let it dry out even more, then dyed it so I can keep that shape. But, live and learn. In order to finish this hat up, it needed a really cool band. So, I made this band out of this thin leather. I'm gonna say, I said leather with a hesitancy because I think it's a uh, leather, it's fake, it's, it's kind of stretchy. I'm not 100% sure, it could be real. I don't know enough about leather these days. Uh, so, could be real. But, I, I took five strands and I braided them over just like this. Take the top one with, out of the side that has three, fold it over. Then the other side has three now, now you take that top one and over, 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 over.
As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed how it turned out. I know I do. Now, I can live out my cowboy dreams.